way that we source for our menu, instead of writing a menu and then asking farmers for those ingredients, we ask farmers what they have and then we write the menu. We really want people to um, get excited about the way we cook more so than the dishes we cook. The whole idea behind it is, you know, everybody sees the big flames and assumes that that's what we're cooking off of. We usually don't cook anything over there. We'll hang things over it to slowly dry out. Mainly what we do is just get the embers out of it. We want all the wood to cook down into these wonderful little embers, and then we'll throw a basket on top. I always joke that this is our temperature knob. So like, this is low heat right now, this is high heat. They, all the cooks, you'll see them, and all have one tucked in the back of their apron during service. It is hard, it is difficult, and you have to want to do it. So we've definitely had a few cooks come through that, you know, it's, it's not for them. You take a cook who's grown up his whole life working with, you know, an oven, in a range and then say this is what you have to work with and it's a scary uh, proposition so it takes a little bit of time and it takes someone that has a lot of passion a lot of interest in it to really want to do it. I look in books that are 150 years old to get ideas you know like get inspiration you know books like this and other really old you know Virginia Maryland kind of cookbooks you can think that you're like the coolest chef in the world and you've got all these great ideas man no one's ever done this dish before and all those things and then you read that book and it'll be like this dish that sounds like it's off like a modern day three Michelin star menu but it's someone made it like for supper you know 140 years ago with no tools no nothing in a hearth like that one and uh, to me that's amazing. I want you to be enamored with the way that we season or the freshness of our products or how many herbs are on a dish or you know how the dish kind of pops so that no matter what it is, you can always find something that fits within that same zone to satisfy you when you come back here. Those are the two major pieces there, you know. As local as we can be um, without compromising flavor and uh, as supportive as we can be of our history and heritage here in this region. For me, it's something that I believe in and I, think it's, I just think it's a better, healthier way of life.